Kelly and I wanted to take just a moment today to do a quick video tutorial for you on each of our bags. I know that sometimes when you're shopping online it's hard to make decisions because you don't really know how the bag lays to the body or the exact functions of the bag and so I thought this might help with some of your questions. Um, so today I'm going to have, I'm going to talk to you about the Bee Hobo bag. Um, it's named after my best friend Brandy Howard. She helped in some of the design aesthetics of the bag and so it was only appropriate that we name it after her. Um, when we were designing this bag, I knew that I wanted a medium-sized bag that I could carry at least three lenses while I was photographing. I knew I wanted it to be padded yet still flexible. Um, I knew I wanted a strap. I'm sorry, I knew I wanted a flat on this bag. Um, and I knew that I, I wanted, just like in all of our bags, we want them to transition well from an everyday bag so that no one would ever know it was a camera bag into uh, whether you're a pro photographer or a hobbyist, you can use it in any situation. Um, so I knew I wanted a flap on this bag because um, we did add a zipper. However, I don't um, love using a zipper, so I like to keep mine open and just use the flap for the protection for my gear. Um, let's start on the outside of the bag and I'll tell you a little bit about it and then I'll move to the inside of the bag. Um, we have two front pockets that have zippers on them. We have one larger back pocket that has a zipper on it as well. And then on the outside, on the sides rather, we have two pockets and lots of people ask what these pockets are for and it's for your phone. Um, everybody has a phone nowadays and I hate digging through a purse trying to find one so I put a pocket right here that would fit it and it keeps it secure and you can know where it is at any time. Um, also, this particular bag comes with two straps. You have the messenger style, which goes up to 56 inches, and you also have the short style, which you can see on this bag. That way you can carry it under arm, um, and you can make the decision how you want to carry it. All right, so let's go to the inside of the bag. Um, this particular bag comes with two adjustable, padded, removable dividers. Um, so really you can configure the inside of the bag however you'd like to fit your particular gear. Um, I think the three main questions we get about the bags are, do they fit a 70-200 lens? Will it fit a camera body with a lens attached? And does it um, fit a camera body? And the answer to all three of those questions is yes. And so you can see in here, I do have my 70-200 lens. I usually like to keep it on the in the outer sections because they are you have a little more room because the bag goes up on the edge. Um, I believe this bag will fit up to a 10-inch lens comfortably. Um, also, I have my camera body here, and I've just fig, uh, made it in the middle so that I have a little extra space so that I can fit my camera body with a lens on it if I just want to throw the the body and the lens in the bag. Um, so at this point I have three lenses and a camera body in the bag. Um, and I'll show you quickly how I would wear it when I'm shooting. I like to wear it messenger style. And I think when I stand up my head is going to get a cut off so I apologize about that. Um, you can see also uh, the bag, does, all of them do, do come with shoulder pads. Um, the bag's comfortable to wear, it lays nicely to your body, um, and no one would ever know that it's a camera bag. So, um, also when I'm shooting, I usually like to keep the flap down, however, um, if I am in a situation where I know I have to make quick lens changes, um, I would keep it open, that way I'm not having to fight with the bag at all to get my lenses in and out. Um, but normally I would say I keep the flap over it just for a little added protection. All right, I think that is all about the Bee Hobo bag. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and that it's helped you out. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Have a great day. Thank you.